Good morning, everyone. The big weather story is coming from the National Hurricane Center as they've shifted their track a little bit more towards the east and taken Jacksonville and the beaches out of the cone of uncertainty. All that really means is that we have a less chance of being with that monster there, but we can still be severely impacted along the coast. And I'm worried about a deep storm surge that's going to roll up onto the beach, especially into parts of the Georgia area. Right now, we do have a storm surge warning in effect for many of the florida counties as already we're starting to see those waters roll up on the beach by about two plus feet it is anticipated they could get to five six feet by the time the hurricane gets all the way up here so dorian likely to push a wall of water or i should say an envelope of water right there into the southeastern quadrants of the state of georgia and here's our timeline here let me show you the big picture and the timeline hasn't changed one lick in terms of what we need to do and be prepared for First things first, let me just zoom into this. These little squiggly lines represent the forecast models, and these are the ones that I'm showing, the European GFS and the RPM, showing the wind speeds during the daytime hours, and this is going to take place Wednesday morning. Remember, today's Tuesday, so this is 8 a.m. Wednesday to 8 p.m. Wednesday, and those wind speeds will be right on the threshold of shutting down bridges, but this is over at the beach. This is not necessarily for downtown. So I am hopeful that bridges are going to remain open, uh, at least not closed due to wind, because the winds really won't be all that significant in the inland locations. Now, there will be an occasional gust coming our way, and those gusts could be upwards of around 40, maybe 45 miles an hour. Beaches could see a gust up around 55 miles an hour, but they'll be pretty brief. And yet the rain and the bad conditions confined to the coast will be bad. You should not stay, you should go if you live in the evacuation zones that they've called out for, because those are the regions that will be more directly impacted, even if Dorian, Dorian is more off the coast. So stay alert, fingers crossed, more turning to the east, all good things. We'll have more with Richard.